welcome to my site code diaries today's topic uh, site code pipelines and processors so before before starting let me introduce myself i am jitendra ganekar i am a site code architect i am i am from mumbai if you are not uh, uh, subscribed to our channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update and if you like the videos please click on a like button please share it with your friends and uh, please comment on the uh, video and provide your feedback so today's topic site core pipelines and processes so what we are going to see in this video what are pipelines in site core what are processes and processes example of a pipeline how to write a processor class how to customize the existing processor so these are the topics which we are going to cover uh, in this video so let's start so let's understand the concept of a pipeline so what is site core pipeline it is series of actions which execute in sequence to achieve a objective so there are number of action which which get executed uh, in the sequence to achieve something it's is called as a uh, pipeline okay so in site core we have some actions is executed in the sequence and which achieve something so that is called site core pipeline the actions which are getting uh, executed uh, by is called processor so what is processor processor is a dot net class that implements a method okay so it is a class which implements some action that is called a processor so action which is which are getting executed it's called a processes processes is nothing but the action which is getting executed and it is sequence the sequence is defined using the xml okay so action is your process the class which is that action is executed for your processor the sequence is defined in your xml okay and overall whatever this class is getting that action is executing it is your objective what we want to pro, want to uh, achieve okay so uh, pipelines are used to control the most of the site core functionality the site core are based on the pipelines only so it is most of the uh, functionalities are controlled by the site core pipeline and part of a basic architecture of a site core so it is a basic architecture of the site core and these pipelines can be modified by using a patch file so you can add apply the patch files to modify your or you to write a custom logic so this is called as a uh, site core pipelines so this is the basic of a site core pipelines let's see example of a pipeline okay if you uh, see the site code dot config file you, in you will see this section pipelines okay if you go to the pipeline you will see these are the different uh, uh, pipelines you have like initialize shutdown initial manager okay let's take an example uh, like http request end okay so this is one of the pipeline if you see here http request end is the pipelines okay under the pipeline this is one of the pipeline which is used to after uh, which is executed after the http request end so what does it contain it contains the multiple processors if you see one this processor called check ignore flag then you have a end diagnostic okay then you have a stop measurement so these are the uh, processors which get executed under the pipelines okay and as we we check the we have seen before that they get in executed into the sequence so this is the sequence if you see line number 473 that is check ignore flag so that is the first it get executed then you have a end diagnostic that is the second which is get executed okay like this you have the uh, pipelines okay so whenever the site core uh, i mean the, the site core basic architecture is like this only it is executed uh, via the pipeline the things are getting executed via the pipelines like in sp.net we have a page life cycle here we have a pipelines okay then if you see that processor this is how processor is defined where it is defined the your uh, dll and the class which is getting executed okay so this is how the uh, pipelines are uh, defined in this site code let's say example of a, a custom processor class if you want to write a custom processor class how will you write it okay so first of all you will need the arguments okay pipeline arguments so how will you define the pipeline argument uh, you will write a class where you can define your custom pipelines argument like this 
it will it will inherit the uh, pipeline argument class okay so uh, first uh, and you also have to add the namespace or a reference of a psychonaut pipeline and if you see here the custom pipeline is your uh, your own custom argument and which will inherit pipelines argument okay so pipeline arguments will get uh, inherited into the custom pipeline argument okay and then you can add your uh, uh, whatever the argument you want to add then how does the processor is uh, defined that is the action class okay so you will have a class defined you will define your class and in that you will create a method called a processes okay so processes method get executed when your pipelines are getting executed and then whatever the argument which you have used like created like custom pipeline argument that you will pass to the processor and then in the processes you will write your logic then how will you define your configurations so it we will add up first of all you will add the patch file so in the patch file you, it, you will add it into the site code pipeline and then whatever your custom pipeline okay now custom pipeline you will add as a processor type okay where you will have your uh, class name the complete class name the full uh, full name okay full uh, with the namespace okay class name with the namespace and then your dll okay so this is how you define your any patch file so similarly you, are, you can define like this okay so this is how you will create a new class new processor if you want to add any new processor okay so this will add into your custom pipeline it will be a custom pipeline your pipeline so one when you see the show.config you will see one more pipeline and uh, uh, at the end it this will get executed okay so let's summarize so what you want if you write to uh, if you want to write a processor class first of all you define your arguments and for that you have to give, create a class which will inherit the pipelines or so pipeline as are the your default uh, arguments for the pipeline uh, for this you will need a reference of sitecode.pipeline okay this is how you will define the pipeline argument second stage is you have to create your processes uh, processor class okay so that will have a process method which will execute your logic and which will take a, a custom pipeline arg as a input okay and then you write your custom patch uh, custom patch which will override the or you will insert a new pipeline also okay so this is how you will write your processor class if you want to invoke the pipeline then you can uh, uh, write like you in the runtime you have to invoke the pipeline then you can use a core pipeline dot run uh, method where you def you will pa you will uh, provide the pipeline name okay and the argument so this is how programmatically you can invoke the uh, uh, class now let's see how to customize the existing processes uh, existing processor so most of the time i think if you have to write any pipeline you will be mostly you are you will be uh, overriding the existing processor okay so or processes how can you do that okay first thing okay so assume that uh, let's take an example that we want to uh, uh, override the site resolver method uh, uh, class okay site resolver process okay so uh, what first thing which we have to do is you should be knowing what is the uh, process which you want to override okay so what whatever process which you want to override first of all we have to inherit that in your custom class like this okay then whatever the cust uh, there uh, the the constructor that you need to override so once you inherit site resolver whatever the constructor which we need, which is required that you have to create okay then you have to write the process okay and if you uh, have the uh, argument methods okay argument which are customized then you have to create a custom class where you will inherit it we will inherit the class which is required for the uh, the, uh, the the process which you want to override like this in this example i am overriding the site resolver for which the http request r gives the argument okay so we are uh, passing it directly if you want to customize it in the last example we have seen last uh, slide we have seen how to write a custom argument class so accordingly you will create a custom argument class where you inherit this http request r and you will pass it so this is how you will write the process and within the process you will write the logic okay so whatever the new logic which you will write here 
so this is the example of a site resolver so as in that i am want to uh, i want to customize the site resolver so what i did first i have created my own class and in a site resolver i created the required uh, constructor and then i i have written the process class and that with that process class i have pass the http request argument which is required by the site site resolver okay and then the logic whatever is required inside added inside that process method how will you uh, override that why in the configuration okay so this is very important you have to create a patch file okay in the patch file you have to see which which uh, action which you are you are trying to uh, override so in our case it is a site resolver which comes in the http begin request okay so in your uh, patch file you will see here site for pipeline http request begin so i am trying to override the http request i am trying to modify the http request begin request and what i am trying to modify is the processor okay what processor i am trying to monitor um, uh, uh, customize i am trying to execute the processor instead so patch instead instead of site resolver i want to execute my own uh, own uh, class own action so here you see patch instead you will have a type my custom site resolver and define the whatever the dll which i am creating so patch instead processor which is site resolver site kernel so what it will does it instead of site resolver it will render the, it will execute the custom site resolver patch okay so let's summarize first of all you create your own processor and inherit processor class which you would like you which you would want to customize to or override so here what we did the same thing custom site resolver read uh, we are uh, inheriting site uh, site resolver okay then you need to use the same argument class which you want to override or you need to inherit that argument class in your own class so here is the example processor i am using a stability request argument because that is your argument class for the site resolver so i am using the same thing okay then you need to create a patch file which will override or extend existing pipeline patch so this is your pipeline okay http request begin in that there is a class called site resolver which i am overriding with my custom site resolver so these are the three steps which we have to execute for any uh, pipeline or a processor to be uh, override or uh, you execute your own custom logic so most of the cases okay you might not be writing a new uh, pipeline but you will be overriding the existing pipeline so you have to see what are those pipelines like you have to go where in this pipeline what class you are trying to execute what are the arguments used for that class so all those information you have to collect and then you have to create this uh, custom uh, class or a custom process so we are done for today's video it was very short but a very important video uh, site, site, site for pipelines, pipelines and processor, processor. Okay. okay so, so what, what we are going, going to see in the, the next video so our, our next, next topic, topic is the content, content workflow, workflow. Okay. okay so we'll, we'll see, see what, what is continuing workflow, workflow what, what is workflow states, states commands and action and, and what, what is workflow okay. okay so, so uh, if, if you like, like my video, video please click on the like button, button to share with, uh, with your, your friends, friends and, and please provide your feedback on the comment i will try to work on it uh, as per your feedback uh, please subscribe to the channel and please click on a bell icon to get the latest update if you, if you have, have any question, you know where to reach. reach. This is my Gmail ID, ID. and this, this is my LinkedIn ID. Okay, so, so thank, thank you. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.